I'm glad to see that you are well, sister. Oh, Sereni. Oh, thank Mythal you're still alive. What has the Architect done to you? Why are you with him? The Architect is kind to me, and tender, and he has told me his plan. The Darkspawn are just like us. The Architect has freed them, and they search for a place in this world, just like the Dalish are searching. Everything he's done, he's done to help his people. You can respect that, can't you, sister? Sorani, they killed our friends, and so many others! Don't you remember? I do. And this is why I must help them. They are like children come into the world with no understanding of what is good and fair. They have a bestial nature, but I've seen them overcome it. They just need to be shown how. No, I have work to do. The Architect is waiting for me. And for you. He will explain everything. You will see, as I have seen. No! Don't go!说实话要是他们真的是觉醒I shall do it. As you say. Don't you know, Mom, take home with you, don't you? Oh, 
。那看来这些建筑不一定是那个奥莱伊留下，可能是德凡特帝国以前建的。啊这么深。And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain... myself. Fate, however, intervened. I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding... that occurred with the rest of your order. Misunderstanding? Did you not attack the Grey Wardens? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Wardens' help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. <laughs> 这个就不太一样，他们暗意再怎么说都是有物理攻击。The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind. To transform, similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. Once they are freed, the darkspawn think for themselves. They speak. They act. 
Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed, and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. Kill this creature now, lest it make things worse than they already are. Do what is right, and do not waver. This reeks of stupid. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. This is what my sister saw. An ally amongst the Darkspawn. This is an opportunity we cannot pass up. Help me kill the Mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. I was born as I am. An outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. This is the right thing to do. Sarani believed it, and I do too. No! No! This is a monster! I can't let you do this! I do, but... This is the only chance. I hope you know what you're doing. Sigrun may agree, but I do not. This monster murdered countless Grey Wardens. They must be avenged. I cannot trust it, but I will follow it, for now. Thank you, Commander. I realize what a leap of faith this is for you. I hope that I prove worthy of your trust. The Mother lies ahead, Warden. I cannot approach her physically. Her children protect her from my power. But when you reach her, I will do whatever I can to help you. You have my promise.第一是我刚才说的这些事情，第二敌人的敌人就是朋友。那么两者，无论是从哪一方面看，现在我们都应该和他。那我的主要原因是因为前者，这是唯一一个能改变温潮现状的机会。但是往好的一方面改变。那我
begun. Now the pieces fall into place. The Grey Warden comes, the instrument of the Father. Oh, and the Father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. I have told you many times, Mother. I am not the father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are! You took away that beautiful music. Left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. But perhaps the Warden would like to hear how it was that the Father began the Blight. You want the source of the Arch Demon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! Mm -hmm. I was correct. All of these creatures are irredeemable beings. Ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god, Athemio. But I did not wish another Blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn, unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. Is it not the way of the Grey Wardens to do what must be done, in the name of combating the Blight? The Blight is a menace, both for your people and for mine. To end it requires sacrifice and risk. And how lonely the father was. How terrible to be the outcast, the outsider. He claims he wishes the Darkspawn to be free, but what he truly wants is to correct them. However you feel about what I have done, the mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow. Ready have. And now the hero is alone. Oh, the mother knows your ways. You will not let her be, no, not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. <sighs> Let's go. Chu大畜生,兵分两路.
，还是要先打一出的。边将。
母亲死亡之后，其余散乱的暗翼军队逃进深空通道，对阿玛兰丁的袭击戛然而止。缔造者显然遵守了他的誓言，他集合剩余的门徒，跟随他们同胞返回地下。听闻缔造者仍然存在，其他国家的灰袍守卫者感觉感到无比震惊，但经过多年的努力，仍然无法追踪到他的下落。组织内声称缔造者的幸存将导致另一次温潮，但是深坑通道最近比以往任何时候都要寂静。大部分人相信他现在已经在上帝的手中。灰袍守卫者拯救了阿玛兰丁的消息像野火般迅速传播。当无名要塞遭受惨重损失为人所知以后，受同情心的驱使，费罗登各地民众纷纷捐款。阿玛林兰丁在一年之内，无名要塞在五年之内均恢复了往日的繁荣。由于守护者对阿玛兰丁法律与秩序的支持，治安官艾登与他的士兵在被暗翼袭击后，得以将走私者的走私者的货物分给受尽折磨的幸存者们。那个暗翼信使在加入守护者在阿玛兰丁的战斗后，以自由并开始自己新的生活。城市中很快流传起一个穿着斗篷但是口齿不清的神秘人，帮助危险中旅行者的故事。然而，暗翼疾病的个别病例报告也开始出现，没人知道两者之间的关系。侯国的农民在战争期间蒙受巨大损失，在接下来的几年后更加糟糕。最初在无名要塞的成功，使他们变得更加大胆，因此发动更多暴动，需要用武力才能镇压下去。尽管战争摧毁了侯国中的许多农场，但所有人都同意，没有士兵保护损失会更大。农场主向守护者指挥官表示质疑，愿意继续信赖灰袍守卫者的秩序与保护。德克，一个顽皮的温巢婴儿。非常幸运的在阿玛兰丁的战斗中活了下来，受那个对温巢一孤儿无条件慷慨捐助的神秘人的启发，建立一个正规的慈善机构，致力于帮助在战争中成为孤儿的孩子们。他的心上人梅丽萨最后给他生了两个小淘气。无眠要塞孤独的对抗大群暗翼，母亲的军队在数量上超过了无眠的防卫者很多倍，但是坚固的矮人墙壁证明，任何食人魔投掷的巨石都无法将其撼动。无眠的士兵们身着炼银铠甲，每一个人礼衣当时无眠坚持了一夜、两夜、一周，最终暗翼大军攻入他的城墙。这艘要塞几乎创造了神话般的声誉，少数幸存者被永远写入诗歌与传奇之中。随着士兵不断在朝圣者之路上巡逻，贸易安全再次得到了保障。无眠最终成为使阿玛兰丁城黯然失色的贸易中心，但是经济的繁荣促成了商人与贵族之间的尔虞我诈。在未来几年中，不断考验着指挥官的耐心。和平允许守护者补充他们的人数。很快，无名要塞就聚集起一支精悍的核心部队，他们之中涌现的新的英雄，能够对付阿玛兰丁乃至整个费罗登所面临的威胁。通过税捐，无名得以重建。多年以后，沃德瑞克·拉格纳克，沃德瑞克·拉格纳克站在城垛上，大声宣布：这样的防御设施可以被接受。他从未对，他从未对任何人类工程表示过比这更多的赞许。有关阴谋集团的留言，在一连串意外和失踪事件以后销声匿迹了。这一连串的事件顶点就是伊斯迈罗女男爵的自杀（引号）。阿拉马兰丁的贵族们继续保持他们的忠诚，但有人暗示这些贵族的屈服完全是迫于压力。指挥官的佩剑用古代龙骨制成的利刃警觉被安提瓦按压偷走，从那以后这把剑被传说了很多次。有些剑术高手毕生追求这件利器，有人声称这件传奇武器拥有他自己的生命，而且力量会不断增长。我那剑被偷走了，可爱心。德文跟德沃跟格拉纳克进一步完善他利瑞姆之杀炸弹，但在库恩雇佣兵企图暗杀他后，他辞掉了，呃，守护者这边的工作。尽管矮人投弹手弹走他的秘密，但有传言说他想给追随他足迹的人留下了。呃，隐藏的线索。无眠的士兵们穿着维德大师精心制作的与众不同的炼银盔甲，人称“白银骑士团”。在守护者的领导下，白银骑士团发展成为费洛登最受尊敬的军事力量之一。人们也由此永远记住了无眠这名著名指挥官。随着瓦拉纳和缔造者在此该在该地区的消失，朝圣者之路的贸易开始再次流通。但是，这场针对民兵与商人的屠杀，导致了附近人类定居点和任何途经此地的野精灵氏族之间的仇恨。不久，一个人类村民绑架并杀害了一个野精灵小女孩。氏族对此做出的反应是与温丁距离温丁森林保持一定的安全距离，但双方都知道，在将来的某一时刻，精灵可能肯定会回来报仇的。几年之后，卡尔西罗欧中已经看不到暗翼的影子。奥兹玛开始派出远征探险队去重新寻回失落在地城中的锻造记忆。最终
，希勒米家族认定卡尔西洛欧太过重要，不能丧任其丧于。暗役之手，矮人们付出了极其惨重的代价，清除了通往卡尔西洛欧隧道中的全部暗役。在奥兹玛与那座堡垒之间，再次建造了安全的通道。卡尔西洛欧被奥兹玛彻底收复。最后，侯国内的人开始忘记黑沼泽中的幽灵故事。慢慢的，迁居者们不知不觉进入了该区域。学者们说，沙帐仍然很稀薄，因此这片区域仍然是危险的。但人们只注意到阴暗处不再有吓人的喃喃低语。村庄慢慢重建起来。女男爵的宅邸被重建了两次，一次是富有的商人，另一次是来奥莱伊的法师，两者皆离奇死亡。后来宅邸被彻底拆除，那个位置再也没有人碰过。在无眠要塞中幸存下来的人们为安德斯和他的魔法击退了。靠，直接说安德斯死了，果然是 bug， 朋友们，真是 bug。我那个百科中说安德斯死了。在无面要塞围攻战中幸存下来的人们，为安德斯和他的魔法击败了成百上千的暗夜而欢呼。在接下来的庆功宴中，人们热情地拽着这个法师去参加一次饮酒大赛。安德斯输了。安德斯与灰袍守卫者在一起待了几年，负责训练组织中的新星代法师们。但当法师圆环邀请他去参加一次有关缔造者本性的演讲时（括号这时圣殿武士们大为沮丧）。安德斯告诉灰袍守卫者，他与守护者在一起的日子已经结束了。然而，不到两个月后，安德斯又回到了组织中。从此以后，守护者就是他的归宿与他永远的伙伴。瓦拉纳再也没有见到他的氏族，但他也没有舍弃自己的野精灵传统以及他的刻薄话以及他的急脾气。在守护者指挥官之间的友谊明显改变了拉瓦拉纳对人类的看法。在母亲被击败后不久，暗翼游荡者仍然滞留在攻击地表人类的村庄。瓦拉纳是唯一在附近的守护者，他单枪匹马保护那些村民。他是真心诚意做这些事。多年以后，有一次对深坑通道的探险中，瓦拉纳说亲眼看到瑟兰尼出现的阴影中，然后就离开了队伍。其他守护者试图寻找他，然后他真的走了。纳萨尼尔说：“纳萨尼尔也死了。”我的百科里，靠，哈哈，扯扯离谱。纳萨尼尔成功的赢得了无眠要塞的战斗，他在最后时刻永远的领导大家，保卫着他家族的故宅。他的勇猛感动了许多跟随他的士兵。当战斗结束后，大家将他举在肩膀上，围着庭院欢呼。在接下来几年中，纳萨尼尔全心全意投身于组织的工作以及清洗自己家族的威名。后来，他在一起强盗袭击事件中拯救了福格斯库斯兰公爵，恢复了豪尔家族的阿马兰丁的部分领地。纳萨尼尔将家族财产交由戴利拉的儿子来继承，当做新的城堡在那里建成之后，纳萨尼尔的雕像被树立在庭院内。正因为灰袍守卫者效力了很多年，始终与克里斯托弗的遗孀奥拉保持着联系，但随着身体的腐烂，他的不适感与日俱增。终于有一天，告诉正义，他再也不能和他见面了。当天，正义离开了组织。正义祝愿他的同伴们一切安好，然后以克里斯托弗的身份倒在地上死了。奥拉终于可以为父亲扶丧了，不知那个灵体是否还活着。他并没有再次出现。随着母亲的死亡，西格路恩似乎失去了失去了目标。他疏远了组织中的朋友们，与他们的对话日渐减少。一天早上，西格路恩消失了，他的床铺被整理过，箱子已经倒空了。一个半夜起过床的年轻新兵说，他离开了这里的奔赴昭里，他要去完成他在卡尔西罗未尽的任务。在无眠要塞，奥根百科里说他也死了，靠，呵呵结果没有。在无眠要塞最危急的尽头，奥呃关头，奥根奋力保卫了大门，他同时顶住两个食人魔，为其他人夺回庭院赢得了时间。他最终因为失血过多而昏倒。将几周后醒来之后，奥根比其他所有人都要惊奇地发现，他已经成为了一个英雄。奥根不断地用他在战斗与床上的勇猛故事款待招募来的年轻守护者。他的喝酒游戏促使至少一个征募的新兵宣称，与举起另一个只杯子相比，他宁愿重新尝试入门里。菲尔西几次回到无门要塞探望奥根，经常带他们的孩子们来，但是奥根完全不能认真的对待他，他的来访次数逐渐减少，最后完全不来了。即使奥根仍然很想念他或者他的孩子，但他也从未表现出来过。对于费罗登的救世主，他没有担任灰袍守卫、灰袍指挥官很久，暗役不再是一个真正的问题，温潮确实结束了，而他继续前进的时刻也到了。一千年之后，费罗登的救世主完全消失了，没有人知道他离开的目的，但是也没有人认为他的故事结束。觉醒，通关。